All right, I think we're ready to get started. So welcome and thank you all for coming to tonight's discussion on why do the French leave France uh, with Frédéric Lefebvre and Alexandra Salomon. My name is Yves Zuckerman and I am the president of the University of Chicago French Club. This event is part of the Marianne Midwest speaker series and provides a forum for prominent speakers from France to simultaneously engage audiences live in Chicago and remote audiences across the Midwest. And so tonight we welcome audiences from St. Louis, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and Cincinnati. Bienvenue à vous. I would like to thank the Marianne Midwest partners, which are the Alliance Française de Chicago, the France Chicago Center, the cultural service at the Consulate General of France in Chicago, as well as today's sponsors, the International House Global Voices Program and SGFC for their support. Over the past few months, the issue of immigration from France has spurred passionate debate in the media and minds of the French. Do they really leave? What causes people to leave a country renowned for its generous welfare system and high quality of life? What do these movements mean for the future of the country? So here with us today to help us dive into these issues are French Member of Parliament Frédéric Lefebvre and WBEZ journalist Alexandra Salomon. Frédéric Lefebvre is the National Assembly Representative for French citizens living in North America, a role created in 2008, which he has held since this June. Born in Neuilly-sur-Seine, Mr. Lefebvre trained as a lawyer and has held a number of high-level positions in local, national politics, including Secretary of State for Trade under President Sarkozy, a member of the Conservative Party in France and close ally of former President Nicolas Sarkozy. Mr. Lefebvre has over 30 years of experience in French politics, and the French Club would like to thank him greatly for taking the time to be with us this evening. And here to bring an American perspective on a French yet global issue is a native of our very own Chicago, Alexander Salomon. At WBZ, the local affiliate of National Public Radio, Mrs. Salomon is a producer for Worldview and was a series producer for Chicago Matters Beyond Borders, which, was a, which is a year-long series examining immigration experiences in the region. And before joining Chicago Public Radio, Mrs. Salomon worked in Europe as a producer for ABC News, and she received a Peabody and an Emmy at ABC News in 2001 for her work covering the September 11th terrorist attacks. Mrs. Salomon has an MA in International Affairs from Columbia University and a BA in Art History from the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. There will be time for questions following the discussion, but without further ado, please join me in welcoming Frédéric Lefebvre and Alexandra Salomon. Um, so to get started, uh, I want you to talk a little bit about um, what emigration looks like today uh, in France. I think most people have always considered France to be a country of immigrants, people coming to the country. Uh, but in London at the moment, there are more French people in London than in Strasbourg or Bordeaux, so you have this new phenomenon of people leaving. Can you talk a little bit about who's leaving, where they're going, and when this trend began? First, I, I would like to thank you, everybody, uh, to having me tonight. It's a, it's a pleasure for me. I'm very, very, very glad to uh, give a speech before you. Uh, you know, this... Uh, question, why do the French leave France and what is the immigration in France, is not an easy question. Uh, and I would like maybe to try to focus on uh, what it means to be French uh, today. Because mm -hmm. maybe some of you um, remember in uh, 2007, President Sarkozy, Ev uh, was speaking about him because I was his minister. And he decided to create the Ministry of National in Identity. And this Minister of National Identity 
uh, was a, a way for him to help all the French people to uh, analy analyze uh, who they wanted to be in the 21st century. But it was a failure, this debate. Because there was a ministry first and a debate. And the debate was only about immigration. People coming to France. Who should be allowed to come to yeah, France? Uh, yeah, people who are coming to France. And uh, this debate, in fact, focused only on, on the, the, the immigration, like if it was a problem for France. And uh, I think it's very important to try to, to define France's place in the world, because uh, the reason maybe uh, we have so many French people and young French people and young students who are living in France today is uh, because of the place of our country in the world. France is not a country uh, living in the past. I was uh, at the Alliance Francaise uh, some uh, minutes ago and, uh, uh, it, it, you know, there's myths, popular myths. French uh, and France uh, is the country of wine, of cheese, uh, of red tape, of uh, strike, and it's kind of a French bashing. And this French bashing is uh, part of the French themselves. They play a major role on this French bashing. And uh, I'm sure it's very important to understand why uh, we have even an immigration from France to the US, to Canada, and to so many countries now uh, in the world. Uh, I want to, to tell you, to tell everybody, that France is the fifth largest economy in the world, that uh, France, I was minister uh, of SMEs, of, uh, of uh, trade, but I was minister of tourism too. Mm -hmm. It's the first de destination in the world. Uh, and maybe uh, more importantly, uh, France, is uh, the, the main uh, destination for direct foreign invest in Europe. So we have many assets. And uh, despite the, the, the current government policy, and you know so many French people are criticized today this policy, we uh, remain very attractive. And um, we are attractive, but we are losing ground. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And because we are losing ground, uh, today, uh, young students, uh, rich people, but not only rich people, craftsmen, uh, I don't know, hairdressers, uh, uh, kine, uh, uh, are leaving France today to find jobs because we have unemployment, but not only to find a job, just because they want to success. Well, let's talk a little bit. I mean, you represent uh, French people living in North, Amer North yeah. America. That's your role in parliament. So when you meet, I imagine you meet lots of people as you travel the US and Canada. Um, when you when you meet people who are who have left France, what are the th what are the reasons they've uh, given you for having left? What are the kinds of things people are telling you about what motivated them to leave? Most of the time, it's good reasons, because they they, they want to build their career, uh, because uh, uh, they want to study uh, in a country like uh, the the U.S. Because uh, uh, some of them are entrepreneurs. Uh, it's not only, and it's a problem because uh, French people sometimes, uh, political uh, people in France, medias are thinking uh, the, the French students are leaving France only for bad reasons, because they don't want to pay taxes, because uh, I think it's not really the problem. I think the problem maybe is that for so many 
young French people today, uh, success is very difficult in France. Why? Because uh, because of uh, uh, because success is even suspicious in France. Uh, you know the the the, the tax uh, of seventy five percent. Everybody is speaking about this tax right. in France. You know that. Uh, if it people have it's on, on tax rich people. Right. No, I but for uh, uh, many young students, uh, 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 you, you were asking me when you m you, you are meeting uh, uh, young people, young French people here in the U.S. Uh, they they have startups and they they want to 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 succeed, and they want they they they, they want to be rich. So they are thinking uh, it, uh, France is not the place for them anymore to succeed and to, uh, to, 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 to try to be rich. The American dream maybe is uh, uh, very so, so strong today in the French society because of that. And uh, another problem is uh, that uh, failure you 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 can't fail in France because if you f if you fail you have to change your job you have to uh, the, the bank uh, uh, won't lend you uh, uh, money anymore uh, in in uh, in the US if you fail it's a step for success you know the I'm sure uh, we have uh, to change uh, France about these topics, to, to change the, the mentalities in France. That's one of the reasons. And unemployment. So many young people are looking for a job. Mm -hmm. And uh, the immigration from France to Canada, for example, is an immigration to find job because uh, uh, one week ago, I was in Paris uh, with uh, uh, 2,500 uh, young uh, graduates in France, and they were gathered by the the it the, the, the meeting was uh, uh, organized by the the embassy of Canada, and there was only 250 jobs for in Canada, in uh, uh, New Brunswick or uh, Alberta, or and there was there 2,500 uh, young students, and that was the one who were selected, because they were uh, 17,000 who wanted to be there. And this week, uh, we are together this week at this moment it's the same with the Quebec in France so uh, that's a reason unemployment is a reason we have 25 percent of uh, young unemployed in France today and these are people who have uh, graduated university <coughs> and are unable to even find them, even mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. that's why uh, because uh, in France today, uh, it's uh, maybe it's very difficult for uh, a, a young student to find a job with uh, interesting uh, development for his future and uh, with a good uh, income. So they, they just want to try to find better, I don't know, in the US, in Canada, or uh, in, uh, in Asia. It, there's maybe the problem of the, the quality of life too, but quality of life in France, it's one of our assets. Sure. Can you, I, I just want to go back to something that you said. Uh, you said, you talked about uh, in America, if you 
take a job and you fail, that's okay. There's another job for yeah. you. You described a kind of flexibility that uh, exists here. Um, can you explain a little bit more why that flexibility doesn't in, doesn't exist in France? Because of our history, because of uh, the 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 France is a country where um, the, the protection uh, is uh, uh, so. Uh, so uh, good for for the the the, the 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 people, but in the same moment, it's it, it becomes a problem and when because you, say you are you are protected, <laughs> but the 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 boss of the company, the owner of the company, he, he it's impossible for him to change. Uh, if uh, I don't know if uh, uh, your job is not uh, as uh, uh, like if he wants you to 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 be uh, better than you are, if uh, uh, he can't change you in the U.S. Uh, it's difficult it's to fire someone. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do that. So because it's very easy, it's very easy to propose to everybody to have a job in France it's very difficult so it's a problem mm -hmm. it's a big problem for France I'm sure it is uh, maybe one of our uh, major problem in France um, I'm curious uh, how much is also uh, you, you talked about a sense of France French identity and what it means to be French and uh, there was a Gallup poll recently that said um, only 16% of young people in France um, are optimistic about the future. And 71% uh, uh, were sure that their parents would have better jobs than they would have. And there was a kind of sense of pessimism. Um, I'm curious what role that kind of malaise plays in all of this. You know, uh, there was a recent poll uh, who was uh, showing that 50%, uh, uh, more than that, maybe 51.3, if I remember well, percent of uh, the young graduates uh, in France do not plan on working in France. So uh, it could be for good reason. If they, they they want to to try to have uh, an experience uh, in other country, but in reality the the the, the problem of France it is to attract them back after, because uh, it's a chance for France in the globalization. And the 21st century is the the century of globalization. It's a, I think, it's a maybe one of our best chance to succeed in this world for France, to have so many uh, young French uh, entrepreneurs, uh, uh, so many uh, young uh, French graduates uh, all over the world. But uh, we have to, to uh, maintain the links with them. So we have to invest in education. So we have to, even for those uh, who are here in the U.S., uh, who are young in the in the lycées, in the uh, it's uh, very important for France to invest to with the grants, uh, with uh, and uh, at the the, the 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 current policy policy today is exactly the contrary. Uh, we are reduce. The fact the government is reducing the the grants for students, for the French students, so it's very difficult for families because of the cost. You know that of, st of uh, the studies here, it's mm -hmm. very different in France. It's very difficult for them to maintain their uh, children in the French school. So 
sometimes these uh, children uh, don't want anymore uh, to come to, to come back to France because they, they they don't really connect to the French system after after that. It's very difficult. It's I think it's uh, uh, France is uh, maybe today uh, at one of the most important uh, moment for to for for the, the the building of the future in this century, and we have to choose. Do uh, do we want to invest? in our uh, education or not. Uh, even the MOOC, you know, the MOOC, uh, the, the, this uh, system online, the, the online course mm -hmm. with, uh, I'm sure you know, Coursera. Uh, we have, s uh, I think it's uh, Polytechnic and uh, HEC to today who are giving courses on, uh, on, uh, on Coursera. Uh, it was a, a good uh, news uh, last week because the, the French Ministry of University uh, was uh, speaking about uh, uh, 35,000 students uh, registered on uh, uh, online courses uh, from the French University. So it's a good news, but uh, it's it's a way for us to attract uh, French or uh, foreigners in the French system, in the, f the French system of education. I think, you, you know, uh, I, was, uh, I was telling you that uh, uh, the, the French bashing is part of the, the, the French people, but it, it maybe the media too. Uh, I remember in the New York Times there was a paper. I'm sure some of you are, uh, have read it. Uh, it was uh, the best hope for France young get out. You yeah. remember that? I think uh, yes, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I, I want to 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 tell young people that uh, for their country. Uh, they have to fight rather than uh, than flee. Uh, I want to tell them that uh, they can build a future in France, but I don't want to tell them you don't have any more the right to go all over the world. It's good for for you. It's good for France. But uh, we have uh, they have to to you you know the program the, the European program Erasmus. Mm -hmm. Uh, we teach all the new generation in France uh, to uh, uh, go all over the world to study, to have jobs, to and uh, now, and it's a good thing, they can choose their future. So uh, we have to invest. I was happy even when uh, I saw don't remember. It was maybe two weeks ago. Uh, uh, the, the Prime Minister of Germany, Mrs. Merkel, and uh, François Hollande, uh, they decided for Europe six billion euros for six million unemployed young uh, graduates uh, in uh, in Europe. It's it's a good thing. We have to invest, but we have to invest even abroad. And uh, th that uh, because um, for France, uh, all the French students, all the French uh, economic actors, all over the world, and you know we have uh, officially 1.6 million French people registered in the consulates all over the world, but we have maybe one million more uh, not registered. And the, the, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Laurent Fabius, was speaking 
about 3 million mm -hmm. uh, French people all over the world. It's a chance for France. So you talked about uh, these high rates of unemployment for young people and then Angela Merkel um, who wants to spend money on providing job opportunities for young people. Um, she's also suggested that really people in France like the rest of Europe um, should be willing to go outside of their countries and travel and, and co work in whatever country the jobs available that that is part of the idea of the um, EU. So if you have a system like that where people are going, what, what do you think needs to be done in France to attract those people eventually back to France? What, 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 do they, what needs to happen in the country so that after uh, they've experienced uh, some time abroad, they're willing to come back? Uh, if you compare uh, France to uh, our neighbors in Europe, uh, it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you, if you are looking to Portugal, it's uh, uh, maybe uh, 70,000 uh, young uh, uh, people who are leaving uh, uh, Portugal to go everywhere in the world. and. Uh, in the former colonies in uh, Angola, for example. Uh, the Italy, uh, the Italian people are living, uh, they are, they are uh, I don't know the, the, the exact uh, figure, but uh, uh, it's very important, uh, important, the immigration from Italy to all over the world. So it's not so bad, but uh, I was speaking about education. I think it's the, the priority for France. And not only invest in the, the education in France. We have to invest mm -hmm. in the education in France. We have uh, a system with the Grandes Écoles, which is uh, uh, a great system to, to uh, form the elite the French elite, but we have to invest like uh, in the, the, the American system to invest in all the others. And I think it's a problem in France. And uh, the, the, the answer is not only uh, to uh, create uh, uh, new jobs of teachers. Uh, uh, wh wh when uh, the, the, the France decided to create 60,000 uh, more uh, job of uh, teachers uh, last year. Uh, it's uh, uh, maybe two, three billion euros for the future. We had a system we decided uh, all over the world to invest in the French education uh, in the lycée français was uh, the, the name was the PEC. It was the the uh, for for the it was uh, grants for uh, studies. Uh, thirty two million, Mr. Consul, thirty two million, I think, it was uh, to. Give the opportunity to all the French people here mm -hmm. to learn uh, French and to learn the, f the French way of school here in the US. Uh, France decided to uh, stop this system and to reduce the grants. And uh, even now, France uh, decided to stop part of uh, the exchange between teachers in France, uh, between France and US. Uh, two, three, four uh, billion in France, more, and uh, a, a decrease of, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe 30 uh, million here. I think it's crazy. 
because I think we, we have to do exactly the contrary. And we have to invest all over the world. Uh, I s uh, if I remember well, um, so the Sorbonne invest in a campus in Abu Dhabi. Mm -hmm. uh, and and we, we have some French universities who are in investing in uh, campus all over the world. That's a, a, a good way to, to give for the French students, but not only for the French students, uh, even for the foreign students, uh, the, the chance to, uh, uh, to be formed in the, the, the best uh, university or grand école of France. We have to invest in the world and in the French abroad to prepare the future of our country. Um, I have many more questions for you, but I want to make sure we have a chance to um, open up uh, the discussion to people here in the audience. Uh, so if people have questions, um, I just have to repeat them. We have an online audience, so if you just want to, um, I think you can just say it from there, and then I'll say it back to you. So just kind of keep it brief so I can make sure I get it right. No, we won't, American well, company. And I'm we wait, I'm just going to repeat the question so yeah, our online audience. Uh, the first question was, how many of the 2,500 students have graduated? That had graduated, uh, already were already fluent in English. That was the first question. And then the other question was, if an American manufacturer wanted to come to Toulouse or somewhere else in France and open up a business, would they be welcome there? Essentially, that's the question. Uh, I... It's not, uh, it's not easy for me to give you the answer for the number who are fluent in English. I don't really don't know. But uh, I will give you an example. Polytechnic, which is uh, one of our best grandes écoles in France. Now, uh, all the um, studies are in English. So, and there's a debate in France because uh, uh, some of uh, uh, the, the some of uh, the, the 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 politicals uh, uh, are uh, saying you have to defend only the French language, so it's not easy. But we decided to try, and uh, the 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 government decided uh, to uh, propose a bill uh, to the parliament to. Uh, develop the, the studies in English in France. And uh, for the other question, uh, yes, we want uh, American, yeah, and, and we have American investment. Um, there, there was a study of Ernst and Young in 2013. Uh, France is the leading recipient of job creating investment from the US. And we are the leading destination I in Europe for foreign investment in industry. And maybe you know about uh, uh, credit tax, uh, uh, R&D credit tax. Uh, maybe you've heard about it. And uh, now we are the leading country for uh, R&D support because of this credit. So. Uh, that, that, that's why I was speaking about French bashing. Because, uh, interesting, you will see. I read that before uh, our meeting about strike. For everybody, France is the country of strike. <laughs> I will give you some figures about that. Uh, I will try to find some figure. I, 
I, I won't find them, but if, if I remember well, it was 3% uh, in France uh, of uh, days, uh, of hours, 3% uh, in France, five percent around 5% in the UK, and 10% in the US. But strikes I've, I've are very visible in France. But I it's interesting to know that. And we have another problem, I think, for, for uh, and which is a, a, a big problem for our future in France is the work. I wrote a book, the, the second one, uh, about uh, work. And uh, it's a, a French newspaper uh, called Le Point who was uh, uh, asking, are the French lazy? And it's interesting because uh, with international comparisons, uh, the French work shorter hours than other majors, major European economies. Uh, 1,679 hours a year compared to 1,900 hours in Germany. French retire earlier than people in other European economies. Average retirement age 60.3 years in France compared to 62.6 in Germany and 64.1 in the UK. And they take more holidays than people in most other major European and uh, in the US it's the same. So maybe that is uh, one of our big problems. We have to work more. And uh, so many uh, political uh, uh, men in France think that we can share the work. No, you can't share the work. If you work more, you create more growth and you create more jobs. That's the reality. That's my point of view. Other questions? Yeah. What you know rackets do you have? And I'm assuming that you, you can track the number of French people registering at, at different point points around the world. Do you see increasing the number of people in that field and you know see that in your work with the United Nations? Yeah. We we uh, we don't have I'm, uh, I'm just gonna repeat the question. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry. Um the he asked, uh, can we have more concrete data uh, about how many people are leaving, where they're going, numbers um, based on people who register at consulates, that sort of thing, and have we actually seen an increased number in people leaving France in recent years? We have some figures. Uh, I try to find them. Uh, we have some figures. We have, uh, for example, around 35,000 people who leave France uh, in uh, 2011 and it was 21,000 uh, the year before. So uh, plus uh, 40%. And we don't have uh, the figures for uh, 2012 and 2013, but we know that there's uh, uh, more people and more young people who are leaving. Because when, when I'm uh, all over this uh, constituency and when I'm meeting uh, the uh, French advisors, financial advisors, uh, today their job is to, uh, to be very close to the fr French who arrive here. And when I'm speaking uh, with all the uh, French consul all over the constituency in the US or in Canada, it's exactly the same. 
So we don't have really figures, but we know that it's a movement. And uh, you know that uh, the government decided to increase the taxes in France, but even with the increase, we had uh, this, uh, this year uh, 11 billion less with an increase of the system. And we have in the, uh, the taxes on the incomes, 3 billion less. So that's because, partly because of the departure of France. Um, but we, we don't really have figures. That's the problem in the debate we have in France. And uh, uh, the, the president of the uh, financial commission in the National Assembly was asking me to try, because of uh, uh, my constituency, to try to, to collect some uh, figures all over this constituency. We, we will try to do that. But we know today we have to, uh, all the polls are showing that young people want to leave. Uh, when uh, the government uh, of uh, François Fillon, I was minister, I was against uh, reform, uh, the reform of the exit tax. When we decided that, uh, I was sure that many startup uh, we, we will uh, choose to leave France because it's before they were growing up in France and when they wanted to sell the company, they were leaving uh, because they, they, they want to pay tax. But now they decide to leave before. And I see that when I'm uh, in this the Silicon Valley, I see that. And I see all the, the young French uh, entrepreneurs <coughs> who are there to build their company uh, far from France because of that. There are other questions? So the question is, what are the vari various solutions uh, based on uh, political parties to this issue of immigration? We have to, to give a future to the, the, the young French people. So you have, we have to give them uh, employment and we have to give them the right to succeed in their country. So uh, m my point of view is that we have to uh, reduce the taxes and the the activity of the companies. Because the, it's the only way to create jobs in France. Uh, the, the, um, the level of the taxes in France, uh, I mean all the taxes, the payroll taxes, the, the taxes on the incomes, uh, all the taxes, the social taxes, all the taxes. It's 46.5% of GDP. And uh, at the same time, in France, the, the expense, the public expense, are 57.1% of GDP. That's what we have to change. Because that's the only way to uh, authorize the companies to uh, develop themselves. You know, with the tax, the 75% the tax, it's a symbol. But it's a symbol uh, which have a cost. Because 
when the the the, the I don't know the owner of the company or, or or two or three or four person in the company will have to pay this tax. In fact, they won't pay themselves the tax. It's the company. And the company will pay the tax. So if the company pay the tax, it will be no invest, no increase of incomes in the company. So it's bad for everybody. It's bad for the, the, the growth, the economic growth in France. It's bad for the employment in France. I think it's the priority today in France. There's two priorities, education and reduce the taxes. And uh, it's very interesting because uh, in uh, our constituency uh, in the US and uh, in Canada, uh, I was looking uh, the figures when Jean Chrétien in Canada was prime minister. He decided to reduce uh, the, the expense, the, the public expense. And then he reduced all the taxes on the economic actors and on the citizens. During five years, it was uh, 100 billion dollars uh, less taxes for the citizens and for uh, the, the economic actors. And uh, Canada was like Greece now. It was in 90, uh, two or three. It was like Greece, Canada. And you see now Canada. So it's possible. So just to follow up on his question, so that's uh, your party's uh, prescription for uh, this issue. What is the, the ruling party, the socialists, what sorts of policies have they uh, suggested to uh, the, the solve the socialists are uh, at the government today. Mm -hmm. So uh, they try to uh, reduce the debt, but to reduce the debt, they have chosen to uh, increase the taxes, not to decrease the expense. Et donc, uh, le, le, uh, I think it's the wrong track. Even for employment, they have chosen to create Emploi d'avenir, les emplois d'avenir. Uh, they are not, they are not um, market jobs. And uh, all these jobs are uh, paid by taxes because they are public jobs. So uh, we don't have the same track. I think we have to reduce taxes. They, they are uh, increased the taxes. And has President Hollande um, specifically addressed the issue of emigration and how he might address it? Uh, in France, when uh, we are speaking about the French abroad, not only President Hollande, and I don't want to, to uh, specifically speak about him, but uh, it's so easy to say that uh, uh, all the, the, these French people are leaving France because they don't want to pay tax, so they are bad citizens. That's the caricature today in France. And uh, uh, I think exactly the contrary, mm -hmm. I told you. Mm -hmm. sure. But uh, when they, 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 they decided uh, to um, add some taxes on the French abroad when they, they are uh, working here in the US or in Canada, uh, even uh, healthcare taxes and the, the, the healthcare system 
for the French people is the, the, the one of the US, not the one of France. So they have to pay, but they don't have the protection. Maybe because uh, part of the uh, political uh, members of the Socialist Party, but not only, even in my party, some of the, the members of the, uh, of the parliament are thinking that uh, if you are leaving, it's for bad reason only. So just to repeat the question, essentially it's, um, is it just a question of globalization that what France is experiencing is what many other countries are experiencing and they just have to kind of wait it out and it will th fix itself? I, I think we don't have to wait, we have to face, like you, you say. And uh, uh, I'm proud of my country, you see. I, I, I was uh, uh, giving you some figures, very. Uh, about our assets in France. And I know that uh, uh, young French people all over this constituency are proud of, our, of their country. I'm sure of that. Uh, but many of them today, they, they are in the US for st to study and uh, they, 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 they are telling me that uh, maybe they will work uh, one year, two years, three years here before uh, coming back to France. Uh, because they, they are waiting to uh, a, 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 a huge reform of their country. And uh, I'm sure they want, they, 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 they they would like to, to, to come back to France. But they, they, they really want to, to have the, the, uh, a country who is uh, courageously facing all the problems, not only uh, trying to uh, wait, like you say. Wait, we have a question. Shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, ah, boy, it just disappeared again. I'm sorry. We <laughs> Technical glitch. We're sorry, to it's not showing up on the iPad. This is a question audience. right in Minneapolis. This is a question. There we go. It was working, and then we tested it out. Okay. Um, this is a question uh, Mary from Minneapolis asks. I'd like to believe France is trying to balance and reconcile being humane and profitable politically and economically. Is the French government trying to have a free market and a benevolent socialist society and nation? That's the question. <laughs> question. <laughs> it's a real question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, socialist doesn't mean the same in France and in the US. I think it's uh, important to say that mm -hmm. because uh, I know that uh, uh, socialist here means communist <laughs> in France. No? Don't you think so? I, I think so. For Sorry?
Ah, social, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, healthcare I is, uh, for me, maybe one of our uh, assets because uh, for French people, uh, they know that they have uh, a real protection. And even uh, in France, for the foreign people, there's a protection. Uh, maybe it's part of the problem of the immigration, not from France to other countries, but from other countries, other countries to France. Uh, but it's a, a, a good news for, I think so, it's a good news for uh, the American society that uh, you are today uh, building uh, an health care too. It Obamacare is uh, not exactly the same system as the French one. And I'm sure if it was, uh, we will have demonstrations all over mm -hmm. the US. <laughs> but it's maybe the beginning of a uh, 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 protection here in the, in the US. And it's very difficult to compare the two systems. Because uh, uh, in fact, in the US, everybody uh, want to be free uh, to choose the protection he, he, he wants. In France, everybody is in a protection, under protection. And it's very interesting because all the French people who are living abroad have now another vision on the French system. Because when they are living in France, they don't really uh, recognize the system as a good system. But when they are abroad, and when they are living here, they, they are looking to France and to the system, and they say, yeah, it's a, it's a really good system. So maybe it's uh, I would like the U.S. on the health care, and that, that, that's, uh, that's today uh, a reality, to try to uh, imagine a system and to look France to imagine a good system. But I would like my country to look to the, the, the economic system, the tax system of the US. You see? We were speaking about globalization. We have to, 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 to try to reform our country, and the US have to reform their country. And we could. Uh, I don't know, maybe in uh, uh, 10, 20, f 30, 40 years, I don't know. I'm sure we will try to find, uh, I, I would like that, we will try to find the good answers in our two countries to try to take, uh, it's the benchmarking, to, to take the good things in the other country. And it's because of uh, all the, the young students, the French students who are abroad, but the American students who are in France, that we have a chance to build this new system, this new model. I think so. Because uh, all the French students, when they will come back to France, even uh, in uh, I don't know, two, three, four, five years. They will have the 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 they will try. I hope so, to change our country. Uh, the question was, uh, what is the the issue, and what 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 is the 
the, the, the answer of uh, the Socialist Party or the, the UMP Party? It was the question before. But the, the uh, which is important I is what will be the answer of the citizens? And because of the globalization, because of uh, Erasmus, because of, uh, of the, the way you are building your future, I'm sure we can change our countries more than before. Because before we were, uh, the French people were in France, the American people were in the US, and uh, now even uh, all the politics have to, uh, to see what is changing all over the world. Um, okay, we have, uh, this is gonna be the last uh, question. This is from Julian in uh, St. Louis. Um, the question is, why would it be necessary to change France's mentality? Don't you think that the French have chosen against Sarkozy's motto not to, quote, work more to make more? <laughs> uh, Work more, work more to make more. Uh, if you uh, question uh, worker today in France, we decided when uh, Nicolas Sarkozy was president, when I was minister, we decided to defiscalize the overtime. Uh, the government decided to stop the defiscalization of the overtime. Today, uh, all the workers in France are uh, demonstrating because of that. Because for them, it's maybe one month of incomes less than before, one month. So, uh, and I was uh, speaking about the the study of uh, Le Point, uh, French, uh, are the French lazy? And I was giving you some figures. The only way for French, for France, uh, to, to uh, build a future for the country and for everybody in the country, not only the rich people, the elite, and all the, the, the entrepreneurs, but for everybody, is to decrease the taxes on work. We have to do that. It's difficult to do that. I don't know if the, the sentence was good. Maybe uh, it was uh, uh, not so bad because uh, it's a question for me tonight. <laughs> so it's in the memories of everybody. All right. Well, I would like to thank our speakers for a fascinating discussion tonight. Thank so thank you very much, Mr. Refebvre, and thank you very much, Mrs. Salomon. And I would like to invite our audience to help um, help yourselves to some uh, oh uh, well help yourselves to some drinks <laughs> and <laughs> and please stick around. We have a list of sign up uh, sheet if you would like to get more information about our events. Uh, our board members will also be uh, available to talk to you about our events, and our speakers will stick around for a few minutes if you have just that one last question. So thank you again for coming. <laughs>